All right, so we have Mario Leona's kit updated again, and I think that this is the most definite we'll have it until release. Now, I already looked through it, but what they added is very good. Now, um, they added mainly to the alt skill too and other stuff, but uh, she didn't like mark it because Vanilla is cringe. I'm joking. Love Vanilla, right? She is amazing. Discord should be down in the description if it's not all added to the pinned comment, I guess. But yeah, you could go check it out. Basically, she posts leaks that she finds on KR and Global, and uh, yeah, so we got Mariel's updated kit and two other kits. Now, Mario Leona does seem to be a DPS now, and if she is red, she will work extremely well because of the fact that the red team is just extremely oppressive at the moment. Um, Luck is kind of changing it up a bit, but the red team has red Uno, which when it's a full red team, becomes very strong. So if Mariel's there, then maybe we could have a team with red Uno, Mario, and then another burn unit. All being red, right? Because we have a bunch, a bunch of red burn units if we check it out. We've got Leopold, Fuego, Charmy, and Magna. So I think that we're going to have a fun time kind of making up teams for Mario Leona. So yeah, let's just hop into it. Um, starting off, we'll, we'll kind of like re-explain it. Basically, we have everything but the Grimoire skill. So, I mean, it's fine. Now, the skill one just inflicts burn, and then if the enemy is suffering from a DLT already, you taunt them, which I think is pretty good. Now, this is actually updated because before I'm pretty sure they just taunted outright. So, let me just make sure. So, never mind. They never mind, never mind. It's it, it was the same thing. Now, the skill two is going to be very strong, where it's going to be an AoE. Now, you are going to be removing the AOE, uh, the barrier of the specified enemy, which is very strong. The reason being is that usually barriers now are mainly just Charlotte. You could see Noel, but Noel barriers, it's really the only person who has a counter that you want to remove from those barriers. The rest you kind of get rid of over time, and they kind of just leave after two turns, right? So, the barrier you want to remove is either the counter barrier on Noel, or these charlotte barriers because that one can be annoying it's very strong and it kind of reapplies 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 so this is going to be like black Asta, where the person you choose gets their barrier removed and she's still going to be doing good damage she's going to be aoe applying burn which is great and she's going to be applying mana skin to all allies and this is kind of crazy that is a crazy that oh my god so Rodus is kind of done for just because Rodus stun block is kind of useless at this point because guess what her uh, mana skin does blocks all status ailments which is stun block and also reduces damage received so she's applying damage received to everyone plus giving stun block plus removing barrier plus burning on her skill too that's not even counting the what it's going to add with the uh, skill page which is scary because when you consider that before the two fests that we've had the two fests we've had you know what it's added the most stupid things in the game stupidest thing in the, in the game it added total defense which reduces damage technically by 30 percent slash blocking the damage slash making it so you cannot be crit and julius had the thing where you guaranteed reduce this targeted stamina to zero and reduces everyone else's stamina by 10 percent with a chance so imagine mario who already has a broken ass skill to giving damage reduction stun block uh sorry here damage reduction stun block um burn and also removing barrier doing more than that too it's crazy okay it is crazy so yeah no she probably top five easily now her alt is going to be this this is what we needed this is genuinely what we needed because before just to kind of compare before what they had the alt was basically so basically you had you could stun right if they were taking uh burn but this is not that crazy right if you consider it that there's stun block a lot of the times so it's not that crazy then for every burn she does more damage and then they had her for immortality to where she basically was countering immortality but there wasn't anyone who really had immo so what was the point to that right so instead they took out the immortality and they added to where once she kills someone she gets an extra turn best skill in the game julius has it in just oppressive magna had it has it but had it in terms of like he was meta with it very good asta had it very good and because she has a skill to aoe she's also going to work well with charlotte because obviously full red team she's going to be able to get the guaranteed kill get two extra turns because charlotte with the mark and then afterwards go for the aoe very strong and then she also removes an enemy's barrier just such a good combo we're moving barrier plus extra turn means you're usually going to get the kill alongside her having the uh extra damage per burn on the enemy oppressive okay oppressive now she does get mana skin for herself if her sp is x or more but she's also going to get it on her skill too so you know she's kind of just really good <laughs> like she's just going to be better black asta in terms of the skill 
um where i'm saying that black asta it's only under a certain amount that he's getting the damage where her it's just going to be kind of all the time that she's going to be doing a lot of stuff so that to me is uh very very good i'm actually very happy with it and this damage reduction could be very high reason being we're seeing charlotte with 54 percent luck just got 70 percent damage reduction so you know we're kind of looking very good so far her damage is going to be crazy and this kind of solidifies her as a dps this is a full dps um ultimate now sure it's good to have um like it, it makes sense that people are thinking well she'll be a, t a tank because well damage reduction and she's supporting but no dps could support too if asta could do damage as a tank mario could do defense as a dps so there's that now her do passive is at the start of a wave you apply taunt to the enemy with the highest all attack now this we're gonna need her to get some defense from her dupes if they're applying this but also i want her to get attack from her dupes to do more damage obviously so i it really depends on how good this mana skin is it really does because the thing is um obviously though the mana skin for her is going to be applied if sp is x or more which means that turn one she is going to have mana skin okay considering that she's going to be at 8 sp so guaranteed going to have the damage reduction from the mana skin now it's just going to depend because she's going to be taunting um the person with the highest all attack being the dps which could be scary especially if it's julius right but when hit inflict burn continuous damage to all enemies which does allow her to then when she's hit by the dps turn one to then do more damage on her alt which is a very nice mechanic now her combo is just burn okay i would have liked if it also removed barriers but it is whatever now we don't have her uh, skill page skill so that is unlucky but my guess what is my guess hmm I guess it's it, it's either going to apply another burn or it's going to give her like all attack increase. I think that's my two guesses right now. We'll see. Now, basically, this just confirms her being like top five, maybe top three. Uh, so when she has the mana skin effect, she is going to obviously at max dupes, it's going to be 100% chance to get the X percent increased damage. And your boy has the five skill page dupe. So I'm going to get that skill page maxed. Uh, yeah, no, Mario is going to be insane because this is the same thing as asta where he gets like the asta effect is even crazier like, they make fest skill pages insane if we check it out uh let me just pull up the two fest skill pages real quick because i need to it, it's kind of hard because one's a dps one's a tank so they're kind of like separate but um just looking at it right now julius gets 25 percent all attack just from that max dupe which is five percent higher than any other and then asta gets 25 percent increased damage per 1500 defense so just imagine just imagine. I feel like the mana skin is going to be probably like 50% increased damage. That's my guess. I, th I genuinely think she's going to get from like 50 to 75% increased damage if she has mana skin. If she doesn't at max dupe, then that's going to be a bit rough. But if she does, bro, like we're, we're, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're locked and loaded. So yeah, no, Mario, they really did very good. Being able to give everyone mana skin is oppressive. Giving everyone stun block after turn one, you put her with Black Asta, Black Asta has stun block turn one. She applies it afterwards. You can't get stunned. Julie is stunned. Uh-uh. Right? And if she does get debuff block from this, bro, if it's debuff block, GG. Oh my god, I just thought of that. If it's debuff block, GG. So, you yeah, know, this mana skin effect is super strong. It's really strong. If it's... And I'm seeing at least 30% damage reduction, honestly. So, you put what? Black Asta, Mario, Charlotte, and then you have the max damage reduction just from this if she has above 109 speed which i am begging i'm begging begging i'm gonna be happy right i'm gonna be very happy so yeah no mario they cooked they cooked now what they did add was a from what i mary uh, from what vanilla was saying is their seasonals a william and a mimosa now william and mimosa and it does seem like it's a blue support and a green healer which 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 why blue support oh blue 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 support and green green oh i what are they going for here why are they remaking the same units with the same color and the same role i don't get it but as for the skin this is the only one i could find and since they just took a luck skin it's very possible that mimosa gets this skin which i think it would it looks beautiful it looks beautiful it looks beautiful right it really does so we could get that i hope william gets replaced because anyway it's kind of similar it's a bit similar but uh these kits are very good i think these will, units will be good but let's talk about it let me just kind of go more into it because obviously i could uh, be tripping a bit but i think honestly we'll be kind of cooking with these units if they are the season nine units i would have liked because like the thing is one unit i really want personally 
um if we're looking at it like in the rares i would like a marks i don't know why i just like marks he's cool we could get a second seasonal they would low-key make some money off of this i think and for srs i would really want a funeral a funeral seasonal would go crazy people don't understand and obviously you know like we need a you know we need a you know so you know would be nice a vanessa too could go crazy i'd say you know vanessa Funeral, but there's also ssrs we could get if we look at it we could get kiato kohono langris leopold licked licked would be crazy right um raya would be crazy where's raya uh raya would be crazy i would be down for those two especially and fauna bro people love fauna but i guess because of hateful fauna they're not doing one yet but they could also do another fuego but i guess that would be cool because we get mario then we get fuego that could be sick so there's a lot of things that they could do right i think that they're just not doing it and I'm just hoping that they start dabbling more into some of the SSRs that they haven't touched. Nozel too. So I'd say they could definitely go crazy with this. And also, like, Spirit Dive, you know, it's in May, right? We, we should be getting Spirit Dive in May. So I'd say we're safe to get a seasonal, you know, soon. So hopefully they do change the roster. But for right now, let's look at it. We'll start with Mimosa because I want to start with Mimosa, Mimosa uh, just because I feel like there's more of a chance that we get Mimosa. Um, but yeah, so uh, skill one. Actually, we'll start with the passives. I think it's actually better this way. So basically, if all allies are green, you apply immortality to the ally with the highest all attack, which is oppressive. I actually think this is going to be very good. Now, she is green. This actually could be insane with Yami. Because Yami needs to... He just doesn't have enough survivability. So this could be very good for him. Now, on her turn, on Mimosa's turn, this is the do passive. Grants SP plus X to all allies. The, bro greens are just shitting out sp you got to consider right you look at it charlotte sp um mimosa 2 sp now this mimosa sp and langris 2 sp so like all these units are getting a bunch of sp which is great and when she dies grants hp recovery equal to x percent of own max hp to all allies i'm gonna guess it's at 100 percent which is pretty good. Like, she's just going to give a max heal to everyone, which is kind of insane. I like that. Now, her skill one is just giving a uh, HP heal to the person with the lowest HP. So, you know, that's decent. Skill one, nothing too crazy. Now, her skill two, that's that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. So, X percent chance to remove HP recovery immunity on all allies. So, basically, I'm going to guess at max skill page, uh, at max skill level, you're just going to remove HP recovery immunity guaranteed chance. You're going to heal all allies. So, basically, it, you, there's no chance you're going to get it blocked, which is great. Then you're... Because because the thing is with HP recovery immunity is that you could apply this even if there's debuff block. So this goes through anything. So like removing it is great. You get your heal, then you remove DLTs, which is going to actually be really good. And then you're also going to apply um, defense pen to the ally with uh, to all allies. Okay, nice. So this is going to be good. This is going to be a good skill. Healing, removing DLTs. And then also, and this is going to be probably you're going to use it on like your DPS, right? You're going to use it on the DPS because first of all, it's going to do less damage then. But then you got to consider, we just talked about Mario, who um, is going to be, what's it called? She's going to be doing extra damage per burn. So obviously this is going to make it so that they have a higher chance to live. To take off all the burns, make it so that Mario does less damage, right? So there's that. Now her alt resurrects. I, it's very similar to the previous Mimosa. So, um, and what's good about this is that she's going to be healing the person after um, resurrecting, hopefully to 50% minimum. That would be very good. If it's 70, 80, that, that's going to be crazy. But uh, yeah, if they add more to this alt, she could be very good. And obviously we talked about giving immortality with which... W Putting that with resurrection is insane. You res and you have ammo, like you're, you're keeping a, allies alive for a while. So I'd say she's actually going to be very good for the green team. Uh, but we're going to need another green TP DPS. I'm not going to lie. We're going to need a better one. If Mario's green, I'm going to cry a bit, but I wouldn't be. No, I would be opposed to it. I would be very opposed to it. Never mind. So this Mimosa does seem very good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, giving more SP, giving SP um, here, right? Um, just i think if they add sp to the alt it could be very good i don't think she's gonna be amazing but for pve wise she will be very strong i think pve she's gonna be more of a pve unit but i could see people finding some good teams with her because she has a lot of fun gimmicks but i just don't see her being insane that's the thing now william i can't see Let, let's let's go to william uh, if i'm remembering co uh, correctly um okay here it is so where is it from here to here okay why hashtags bro like anyway so uh per x defense attacks after grounding x percent increased damage dealt i don't really get this because he seems to be a support so make it make sense but whatever 
um he's gonna do damage on his skill one which you know sometimes supports do a lot of damage like you could see season six charlotte doing damage so maybe it's gonna be good now skill two if a counterattack is present on self you inflict taunt on a target for x turn so this is an attack i'm gonna guess if this is a two turn taunt great now it, he's blue he seems so this is gonna be good okay this is gonna be good you gotta consider um applying taunt is great especially when you could choose who you're taunting right and there's also the fact that just you're gonna have counters luck charlotte right two blue units that have uh, counters right now her his alt his alt is going to be applying fortify if it's level if we see level four fortify i'm going to be happy but i'm going to guess it's just going to be level three but why i'm saying it's going to be level four is because we already have a william who has level three fortify so there's that uh so he's also going to be giving all allies debuff immunity which just makes him way better than the previous william if this guy is quick if this guy's at 126 speed max dupes then this guy is like instantly uh s tier minimum because Fortify plus debuff immunity is way better than the counter in my eyes. Especially because we have other units who give counter. So, yeah. And then you'll also have a chance to remove debuffs, which... Oh, shit. Wait, that is so good. So, he's a cleanse unit, plus he gives debuff block for turns after. Yeah. Yeah, this William's going to be crazy. I just... They could change this. They could change anything here. I'm not reading it. But giving this... Just this. This is all we need. This is all we need for this William to be good. Now, his passive is that if all allies are blue... You grant protection to the ally with the highest all attack, which it, amazing, amazing. Uh, this video should come out after the luck showcase, so I think we're fine. But basically, how I was using it is that I was using it to where I use Charlotte skill two to apply the protect. Oh wait, no wait, this is I was thinking of um total defense protection. Holy shit! This William is crazy. Protection means you cannot target the person with protection for X amount of turns. If this is two turn protection, William is maybe S plus tier. Holy shit. This is going to allow you to have a very good team with Julius on a full blue team. You can't target Julius, but this could also sometimes be counterintuitive when you are playing for a counterattack team. So ah, uh, okay, this is going to be interesting. I think you could have some very good teams, but also some very um unfortunate teams because luck would want to counterattack. we've seen in that showcase that i did with luck the updated two dupes show showcase is going to be uh very good to have the counterattack. so we're gonna have to see how it plays out but this could end up being very good i'm not gonna lie could end up being very good and change the play style for full blue teams okay nice now do passive every turn grants a increased defense buff to an ally with counterattack for x turns so you're just giving everyone defense buffs whenever there's counterattack. Okay, okay, bro. All right, that's crazy. And then uh, this is probably going to be the dupe five. So you have a chance to apply reduced all attack to the enemy with the highest all attack. That's insane too. Love to see it. Uh, so combo skill, chance to stun. And then his skill two is going to be buffed by a skill page. Inflicts barrier break on an enemy for X turns. I think it's going to be barrier removal. And his skill two is a single target for now it is so i'm gonna say it's barrier removal but it might be something where like it removes barrier plus it does another effect that's my current thoughts on it and his grimoire or uh, skill page passive is going to be every turn grants x percent of own defense as healing to the ally with the lowest hp ratio this is actually really good if it's barrier removal this is great and then it's going to be healing per his defense so you want to build him with defense and obviously that's going to make him more tanky plus also healing so yeah now the thing is actually is this similar to the William, the, the current William skill page? It might be. Uh, okay, yeah. So it kind of is, but it's with defense. Now, the thing is with defense. Oh, wait, let me let me full screen this. Uh, so the thing is with defense. You look at it. On a support, right? On a support. Defense is like 14k. This is like on the high end, I'd say. So you could probably get 15, 16 if you really push. So my thing is that it's not going to be that high. Unless this is like... Unless this is really like maybe two, 300% healing. I don't see this being that good. But if it is, then this could be crazy. But if not, um, it won't be that good. But to, to be fair to Grimoire, it's a skill page passive. Which means you could increase the percent effect. Which might make this actually very good once you get dupes. But obviously it's a William. I don't know how many dupes you want to go for it. And it wouldn't be too crazy, but it would be very good to have... So yeah, if this William has high speed, this William has a chance to be S plus tier just because of this. Debuff immunity plus with the damage reduction too and also um, remove debuffs. You have a cleanse, you block, and also you damage reduction. This is like just instantly like amazing. 
So yeah, I'm very excited for this uh, William, I'd say. I'm actually very happy, but I wish he wasn't blue. Like, sure, it's great that he's blue, because obviously just helping the blue meta, luck just came out, all that stuff. But we would need help for, like, this would be really good for green units. Really good. Getting debuff block for green units would be nice. So yeah, if they're, like, not even that. Don't, I just, I want them to stop focusing so much on colors. Like, start making it so that we could use different units, like, together, different colors together again. So yeah, that's my current thoughts on that. But yeah, all three units seem very good. Uh, I would say William and Mario Leona so more than um, M M uh, Mimosa, but that's fine to me. So these are the three units. Um, these might not come out. I hope William comes out. I hope Mimosa doesn't. Seems like William is a blue supporter and Mimosa is a green healer again. So I don't really get what they're going for there. But whatever, I'm just happy Mario got buffed. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.